All right, hello. So um, at the end of last lecture, I actually gave an example that was slightly wrong. And so I'd asked you to try to um, complete the example to produce this figure. And when you look really closely at this, you see at the highest point um, goes a little bit above 0 0.4. Uh, but when I look back at the data for the y values, I see that it should be exactly 0 0.4. Um, so I actually spent hours debugging this yesterday and I finally learned what was going on. So let me, I'm gonna explain what, what happened there. Um, so let me reproduce this. So first I'm gonna grab this code here and paste this to my notebook. You can see I have a comment here that I'm gonna talk about. So there's my data frame. And then let me grab the second piece uh, where I actually try to do the plotting. So I'm gonna grab this and uh, head over here and get that. And um, I see I forgot to import PLT, so I'm just trying to do that now. Uh, I'm going to say uh, from matplot lib import pyplot as PLT. Okay, and there I go. There I have my figure. And uh, I'm not very worried about the one on the right. I'm just trying to think about what went wrong here. Why is this point here um, above 0 0.4? Okay, so I had debugged this for a while. And uh, let me let me dig a little bit deeper into the mystery. So, if I do fig dot save fig, um, it actually turns out that this will get me a correct figure, right? So I can say good dot png. And if I head over here, right? So I have this this file here, good dot png. Uh, look at that. It actually is zero point four, just as expected. Okay. Now it turns out there's this option. Um, when you're saving figures, which is B box, bounding box, inches. And, uh, and by default, that is none, right? So I can do that. Um, but there's another option that I can pass, which is the string, uh, which is tight. And what tight does is it goes around the figure, and if there's any empty white space, uh, it's going to remove that. Okay, so let me just try doing this. Normally, that's a good thing to do, right? You want to get rid of extra white space. Uh, but here, let's see what happens. So I open up this bad one. Maybe I can look at both of these. Do you see the difference? Here's my good figure. That was bounding box inches um, equals uh, none. And then here it's tight, right? You can also see that it got rid of the extra white space. Uh, so, so what went wrong here? Uh, when I look back at this, what had I done, right? I had my original data, and then I did this transformation on it, right? I, I transformed it into absolute terms, right? I was ultimately, by dividing by this, I was saying, well, how many inches over should it be, right? So this was decided, right? The inches from the top left, from the bottom left, that every point would be. And then after that, after I had kind of come up with those, then when we do this bounding box, inches equals tight, um, it would shift over the axes, right? It would shift over these boxes, uh, but the position of all these points on the figure were locked in stone. Right, so, so I guess this example um, I've shown you is maybe not recommended, right, unless you're very careful about making sure that nothing else moves after you've computed these absolute coordinates um, of each point, right? So that was what went wrong there. And so, so coming back to this, uh, when it's rendering the figure actually in the notebook, uh, this is the default, right? It's trying to do it tight, right? So I can actually change this, right? There's a special command here and um, I should add this uh, special command with the percent sign as its own cell. Um, how are we going to render these inline figures? Well, I can say bounding box inches equals, you know, tight was the default. So let me just show you that that does the same thing. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's still wrong, right? That point is above, that point is above uh, 0 0.4. But if I set this to none, Right, I don't want uh, I don't want Jupiter to automatically trim away um, any space. I see that okay, it leaves that white space over here to left, and now the points are exactly what they should be. So anyway, be careful with this, right? Whenever we do any of these transform calls, and there's other ones besides the one on transform data, uh, that puts things in absolute uh, coordinates, and that's okay, right? We can do that later, as long as we are um, kind of performing this last step of trimming things. When we trim things, these points don't move, but everything else does. All right, just wanted to clarify that, and, and sorry for the confusion in the last lecture.